Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is a pathology video on respiratory pathology. This is the fourth in the series of videos on tuberculosis and it covers the topic clinical features and organs involved in tuberculosis. This is by Dr. CSBR Prasad, Professor of Pathology, Sri Devrajaras Medical College. Presentations of tuberculosis, the pulmonary tuberculosis are very if it is a primary variety of tuberculosis, we have seen that it is subdurally located with higher lymphadenopathy, especially affecting the children. And if you see a calcified nodule in a child which is located subdurally, you should think of the possibility of healed variety of pulmonary tuberculosis, which is primary. And the secondary tuberculosis are known to cause a cavity formation, and this cavity formation may be mistaken for lung carcinoma, which again may show to produce cavities because of necrosis. Reactivation tuberculosis usually involves the upper uh, right upper lobes, epico posterior sorry posterior segment of right upper lobe, epico posterior segment of left uh, left upper lobe, and apical segments of lower lobes. TB associated with uh, HIV disease or atypical and chest X-ray may not reveal any signs of uh, infection. And um, there are other varieties like healed and latent tuberculosis, which um, healed tuberculosis usually of uh, you may see cavities, left over cavities or latent tuberculosis, there may not be any sign. So still this bacilli will be lurking um, for the one, only uh, for the, um, uh, the host immunities to drop to cause activated tuberculosis. And miliary tuberculosis we have seen and sometimes uh, tuberculosis may be confined to pleura only. These are the presentations of pulmonary tuberculosis. And dissemination of tuberculosis produces characteristic, char characteristic patterns. So, dissemination of tuberculosis produces characteristic patterns uh, depending upon the uh, site of affection. Clinical, uh, this skeletal tuberculosis, genital tuberculosis, urinary tract, CNS, GIT, adrenals, scrofola, and uh, cardiac tuberculosis. They have got specific features which I will be uh, showing you now. So, adrenal tuberculosis spread uh, tuberculosis to adrenals usually occurs bilaterally and uh, it is more it is associated with marked destruction of adi uh, adrenals and which may bring the patient with Addison's disease. In the earlier times when the tuberculosis was uh, rampant, uh, the most common cause for Addison's disease was tuberculosis. You can see that uh, cross section of adrenals with granulomas and caseous necrosis. And skeletal tuberculosis always secondary tuberculosis and uh, it is also, it may, you may see different uh, bones involved, mainly thoracic and lumbar vertebra are the targets in addition to knee and hip. So if the knee and hip are uh, affected by this uh, skeletal tuberculosis, you may see muscle wasting around these joints. And uh, in the case of pots, in the case of vertebral and thoracic, sorry, vertebral involvement, the patient may present with pots disease, that means compression, compression fracture and uh, this uh, cases material may track down the um, vertebral uh, column to produce abnormal swellings in the inguinal or lumbar regions mimicking what you call that uh, hernias. There is extensive necrosis and bone destruction and uh, compression, uh, uh, compressed fracture with chi producing kyphosis and extension into soft tissue which I told you as uh, producing masses in abnormal areas due to cold abscess. So this uh, slide is showing the, the involvement of two vertebral bodies in tuberculous process with the destruction of intervertebral disc. And in closer view, you can see that necrotic material and compression fracture of uh, the involved vertebra in this slide. Gastrointestinal tuberculosis is uncommon today because of uh, pasteurization of uh, milk. And sometimes uh, gastrointestinal tuberculosis also can occur when the uh, sputum is swallowed by the person who is suffering from a pulmonary variety of tuberculosis. The usual uh, site of affection is ileocecal and uh, this uh, ulcers, it produces ulcers and the thickening of wall of the intestine. These uh, ulcers are circumferential. You can see that uh, circumferential ulcer here. So appreciate the presence of normal mucosa here and loss of that uh, costations here and it is converted to smooth area because of ulceration. Look at the thickness of the wall and, and compare with the normal surrounding. 
So it is enormously thickened because of uh, granuloma formation, inflammation and fibrosis. So because of this fibrosis, there is narrowing of the lumen and the person may suffer from what is known as intestinal obstruction. And uh, peculiarity of urinary tuberculosis is production of sterile pyuria. So what is this sterile pyuria? Uh, the patient will have urinary tract uh, symptoms and when you examine the urine, there are a lot of uh, pus cells, but culture will be negative again and again. So when a person's urine shows a lot of pus cells and the repeated cultures proven to be negative and think of the possibility of uh, urinary tract tuberculosis or kidney tuberculosis. And here you can see that kidney involved in tuberculosis that uh, yellowish areas or grey white areas represent uh, the grand and gaseous necrosis and uh, appreciate the dilated pelvic aliceal system probably it is due to uh, obstruction somewhere. So it is uh, the appearance of kidney in tuberculosis. Appearance of spleen, you can see that uh, varied uh, grey white uh, uh, nodules of varying sizes and uh, spread across the uh, splenic cut surface. So it is due to probably it may be due to um, miliary variety of uh, spread of tuberculosis. And cardiac tuberculosis, what you should know is it uh, affects the peri pericardium and produ produces pericardial effusion. So it is a granular pericarditis and importantly it is hemorrhagic variety of pericarditis. So if there is any pericardial effusion, if you, uh, if you aspirate blood in this uh, pericardial effusion, think of the possibility of uh, the tuberculosis because this is very common in our country in addition to other causes like um, the malignancies or tumors. Okay. And the complication of this uh, healed pericardial pericarditis caused by tuberculosis is constrictive pericarditis. And here you can see that uh, the pericardial surface so grayish white and uh, the same same thing under cross section you can appreciate the presence of cases material in the pericardial cavity. Lower half shows the normal myocardium. And uh, you heard about the CNS tuberculosis. So CNS tuberculosis produces basal meningitis and uh, typically it shows high protein content and uh, lymphocytic pleocytosis. These are the two things which uh, helps us to identify uh, the CSF to be uh, to be of tuberculous origin. And then this uh, complications uh, is see this one. This image shows you uh, the basal meningitis. The opacity can be appreciated in this. And other complication of this uh, tuberculosis of the uh, CNS is um, the tuberculomas. In the lower uh, image you can uh, you, you appreciate the presence of some nodular area. It is nothing but tuberculous infection producing uh, a tumor like appearance, so you will call it as tuberculum. And the same thing in the CT, you can appreciate the presence of um, a lesion which is ring enhancing. This is ring enhancing lesion, and uh, it may be an infection, or it may be inflammation, or it can be due to what is known as uh, the tumor. So, all this will show ring enhancing lesions. And uh, the importantly, the tuberculous meningitis is basal meningitis. And look at this um, area where you can see the multiple cranial nerves, multiple cranial nerves. When you treat these patients, uh, this area heals and there will be thickening and fibrosis of this area. So these cranial nerves emerge through the meninges, you know, piercing the meninges. When these meninges undergo um, healing by fibrosis, they entrap this uh, um, cranial nerves, producing cranial nerve pulses. So one of the complications of effective therapy of tuberculosis, tuberculous meningitis is the cranial nerve pulses. In order to obviate this, uh, some of the uh, practitioners use steroids in addition to effective anti-tuberculous treatment. And genital tuberculosis is always secondary tuberculosis and it produces salpingitis and endometritis which uh, brings the patient with uh, irregular menses and uh, infertility. So one of the causes for infertility um, investigation is to exclude the possibility of, possibility of genital tuberculosis. Here, this is endometrial uh, scrapings showing the granuloma formation and uh, some endometrial glands. The scrofula is uh, lymphadenitis involving the cervical group of lymph nodes uh, which are firm and mated and uh, they produce what is known as uh, chronic draining fistulas. They undergo necrosis and they produce draining fistulas tract to the overlying skin. So it is known as scrofola 
and if you look at uh, this uh, ulcers of the skin they have what is known as undermine edges which is very typical of tuberculous variety of ulcers thank you thanks for watching please subscribe by clicking the button subscribe